Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do yet another BoxyCharm unboxing. So you guys know I like to do it kind of get ready with me style. So yeah, let's get ready. That I got in this box is the Pharmacy Bright On Mask. It's a vitamin C clay mask. Removes impurities and build up while improving your skin's brightness, texture, and tone. It is originally $38. Not gonna try it on in this video. I really don't have time to. But yeah, we got that. So let's go into the next product. This is the Chella Beauty Eyebrow Cream. It is $26. And so what's interesting about this is on one side you have the brush. If you hear clanking, it's because my sleeves have pearls on them and they're hitting my desk. So one side has the brush and then the other you twist and here's the cream. So this is in the shade taupe. So let's give it a try. My eyebrows are extra furry right now because I was supposed to have an eyebrow appointment. Something came up, I couldn't go to it. So my eyebrows are just gonna be hairy, it's fine. So it's kind of difficult to get in here. And the cream seems to be kind of hard. The brush is a little more flimsy than I normally like my eyebrow brushes to be. Also, a much lighter color than I typically go for my brows. But, I mean, Taupe's a good color to give out. It's pretty universal. So, let's see how this guy shapes the brow. I know, mama's brows are thick. It's fine. You know, actually this color is better than I thought it was gonna be. I kind of have caterpillars on my face, so I'm gonna go off camera and use concealer to clean this up. <laughs> yeah, so I don't like the brush on this. It's a little more flimsy and a little bit more thick than I personally prefer because I just really like to be very precise with my eyebrows. The color is a lot better than I thought it was going to be, so I actually do like the color and the cream product I do like. But since I don't like the brush, that kind of ruins the purpose of this. But anyways, I'll be back. Alright, so I went ahead and finished my brows, concealed my face, set powder on it. Um, like I said, not my best eyebrow day. Kind of caterpillary. So this product isn't like that amazing. It didn't do anything too amazing for my eyebrows, but I don't dislike it. But anyways, moving on to the big guy in here. This is the Crown Brush Fuego Eyeshadow Palette. It is $29.99, and I'm sure you've seen it enough, but lots and lots and lots of warm toned shades in here. I'm gonna kind of speed through this portion here to save time because I really do got places to be right now. Okay, by the way, I know my hair is like on another level right now. It's it's going through something. <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, but as far as the eyeshadow palette goes, definitely not the best eyeshadow palette that I've used. The shimmers in this are pretty good. They're very Morphe-esque, a very similar formula in that it's very, very creamy, almost like wet. Which I personally am not too big of a fan of just because I think it makes the makeup turn to mud at the end of the day. The mattes, they blend out fine, but they're not very pigmented. I find them to be rather sheer, if I'm being honest. And I really did have to build up the mattes because I found that when I was blending, it would disappear. So you have to keep relayering. So for the most part, this isn't the best quality eyeshadow palette that I've used. I was able to get a look with it. Um, by the way, this isn't the first time I've used this palette. I used it one other time before to give it more of a fair chance. And yeah, I mean, it's good. And if you don't have a lot of makeup, I think you can definitely work with this. But I'm just letting you know now, there's a lot better palettes out there. Instead of paying $30 for this, I would recommend paying like $42 for a soft glam palette by Anastasia. 
way better. Alrighty, guys. So next in this box, we have the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. The price on this guy is $24. I'm not a big mascara person just because I do wear lashes, so mascara doesn't really matter to me. Let's give it a go. So you get this big kind of curved brush. I'm trying to see if I can get it to focus. No, not really. Anyways. All right, so keep in mind, I literally like don't have lashes but you know this mascara is not too bad it lengthened my lashes quite a bit it isn't too volumizing on my lashes this is kind of just a standard mascara if you ask me i do like getting mascaras in my boxy charm because that means i don't have to pay for mascara because i don't really care about mascara <laughs> anyways uh let's go on to the last product in this box Alrighty, so let's move on to the last product in this box this is by note cosmetics which i've never heard of before but this is the Luminous Silk Compact Blusher. This is in the shade Desert Rose. It just comes in this black compact and the color of this, you guys. Really beautiful. This is going to look amazing on medium skin tones. Not too powdery. Oh, I love this blush and it complements this eyeshadow palette perfectly. Ooh. Use a light hand. <laughs> Uh, it seems to be blending out pretty well as well. Alright, so I mean, I like this blush. It went on nice. It blended well. It's pigmented enough for deeper skin tones and it blends out well for fair skin tones. So I'm going to go off camera and finish my look. Add some lashes, contour, bronzer, highlight, lipstick, all that good stuff. And I will be right back for my final thoughts. Alright, so this is the completed look that I went for today. Very simple and warm. If you have any questions about what else is on my face, it will be linked in the description box. But let's go over the box. So the pharmacy mask, which is originally $38, haven't given it a try, but I do like getting skincare products in my BoxyCharm, so this is cool. The Crown Brush Fuego Eyeshadow Collection, $29.99. Honestly, I don't think it's very good at all. I don't, I don't even think it's worth $30, if I'm being honest. The color selection is very popular right now with the warm tones, but it's just not very good quality. Um, if you want to see the other look I did with it, it's in my last video, which is my Nordstrom Anniversary Charlotte Tilbury review. I did do more of an orangey look. This is more of a warmer brown look. This palette, the quality isn't good enough to do intricate looks with. You can get really pretty blown out kind of single color look, which is what I also did with the last look I did. But the quality in this isn't good for separation of the colors. Like, you kind of need to slap it on your eye to get a good look, so... This isn't very good, but I mean, you're paying $21 for the box, so I'm not going to complain too hard about it. The Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara, which is $24, pretty good. I'm not mad at it. I always like getting mascaras in my BoxyCharm, so yeah, I was happy to get a mascara this month. The No Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blush in the shade Desert Rose. This is originally $11.99. Definitely worth it. The $11.99, really pretty color, really great for a lot of different skin tones, complements the palette well, blended out very good. I really do like this blush. I've been on such a blush kick. I love blushes. And finally, the Cella Beauty Eyebrow Cream, which is $26. I personally don't think this is worth $26. The cream is pretty good. I think they did a good job as far as color goes to be as universal as possible. I don't like the brush on it, which is half of the concept. It's just too loose. I'm stuck with my ABH brush, and it's a little awkward getting the cream because it's in such a tiny tube, but I'm not mad at it. I was actually very excited to try it, so that's what BoxyCharm's all about. Even if you don't like it, it gives you a chance to try a bunch of different things, and I was so happy to try this out. So overall, as every month, I would say this is worth $21. It is definitely not as good as last month's box. Last month's box was freaking amazing this one didn't have that many good brands if i'm being honest usually there's at least one really good brand in here not too crazy about any of the brands in here so it was worth 21 dollars but not my favorite box if i'm being honest nothing really wowed me and there wasn't any super cool brand 
So that is my review of BoxyCharm this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, even though my review is kind of negative on this month's box, I still think it's worth the money. And this month was more of a miss, but most months are super hits. So with that being said, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Bye.